Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic here again with another no gambling update. So I am happy to say that I have not gambled at all between March 25th and now. And today is April the 6th at 10 p.m. Terrific, guys. All right, so a lot of people have been commenting below. Danny the Medic, why are you in the casino? Oh, you need to stay away from the casino. You know, get out of Vegas. You're going to surround yourself with casinos. You're going to fall back into the old habits. And, you know, like, now that makes a lot of sense, right? Because uh, I've been told that, you know, uh, quite a bit. Because uh, that is basically what one should do when they're trying not to go gambling, you know? Stay away from the casino equals no gambling, right? It makes perfect sense. It does, guys, it does. You know, it's like sage advice. But for me, that's not the type of person I want to be. You know, I don't want to have to stay away from the casino in order to not do the bad things that I have been doing, you know, you know what I mean? So, I have tried many things to stop my bad habits, right? I have tried leaving my ATM card back in New York City, coming to Vegas with only a set amount of money, right? Now, that is an external control, much like staying out of a casino. You know what I mean? Now, that... Uh, it failed, right? I ended up losing all the money I had and then uh, taking out markers, you know, and, and then borrowing money. I even like, went all the way to the Chase Bank here in Nevada and uh, withdrawing money, you know? So, I mean, it worked for a little while in the beginning, you know, like the first few days, the first week of my trip, now, when I used to come to Vegas, I used to come here for like like a month at a time. You know what I mean? So it'll work for a little while, right? The problem is, is that, okay, you know, I got this much money. And if I gamble it and I lose it, then I call it a day. Now, my issue is that once I start losing, I start chasing. And, and then, you know, it's very easy to just lose everything when you're chasing, right? So then on a different trip, I try to not carry cash at all so there's no atm card no cash i had nothing on me right that worked for one entire uh trip to vegas that was like a, a trip i took way back a few weeks right and i was like great i didn't gamble at all i had no money but how did i feel dude i felt terrible I would walk by the casino, and I'll see the machine, I'll see the table, and I'll be like, oh man, I got no money. And then that was the reason why I walked away from the tables and machines because having no money means no gambling and external control. Also much like staying away from the casino. But I, I, didn't, I wasn't happy with myself. You know, I couldn't tip anybody either because, you know, tipping takes cash, right? Then I got the idea to carry $1 coins and, or $2 bills. You know, I, I, I tried a lot of stuff to stop myself from falling down that same slippery whole path that, you know, that would get me into uh, a bad place. So I said to myself, screw it. You know, I'm not going to do all these external controls anymore. I'm not going to do the staying away, the not carrying cash, the leaving the ATM card, yada, yada, yada. So what I'm going to do, I am an adult, guys, right? I'm telling myself that. Even though I'm not really. I'm just a 10-year-old that's been on earth a lot longer. I am going to go with internal control, right? Internal Right? Because why is it that that guy over there, like not really, there's no one there, but that guy, why is it that he can go into the, into the casino? Why is it that he can have his ATM card, he can have his cash, 
and then he'll play for 10 minutes, you know, up or down or whatever. He gets like, gets up, does something else with his life and everything. It's like, why is that guy able to do that? And there I am, like once I start losing, it goes into this like, like, like dark tunnel of gambling. I believe it's the inside, right? How, how a person is, how a person processes the world, right? So one thing I do know that throughout my own life, right, I'm only speaking about myself, that if I do something enough times, I will get into the habit of doing that thing, right? At first, it may feel strange or foreign. It will become a habit. So that's what I'm trying to do, right? So I have been almost every day going to casinos with my ATM card, with my money, you know, with my player's cards, ready to gamble and then not gambling, right? Just don't do it, right? Yeah, I went to the Starbucks over at the Planet Hollywood that I usually go to. Now, usually when I go to that Starbucks, I would get my drink, mosey on over to the video poker, sit down with my drink, enjoy my drink and some video poker. Upon which, you know, once I start losing, it goes down in, in, into the hole, right? But if I don't lose, you know, and I'm even or I'm up a buck or two, I'm happy, I enjoy my drink, I'm done with the drink, I move on, right? So, I'm skipping the video poker part. And it's been doing pretty good. Like, uh, every day, almost every day, except for the days that I don't leave the, this apartment. There's been a couple of days because I had to uh, wait for packages to come. Because, you know, people will steal your package if you're not here. So, I had to wait for uh, laundry detergent to arrive. I have to wait for uh, shipments of different things and etc etc right so there were a couple of days that didn't go anywhere but the days that i did go somewhere i included casinos the el cortez i would pass by every day and i i had stopped and i have looked at the stuff i have looked at and then i would watch people play some blackjack and things like that and then i would walk out not gambling and then i would like uh i was down at the paris las vegas right where i got the uh, this well it's not here but a bunch of gatorade because i get four free drinks a day from caesar's right so i got my four gatorades then i was watching the high limit blackjack guy was betting 400 500 a hand and everything he was losing his butt one time he had a 16 and then he stayed right next card was a five and the dealer won it's like dude you know what are you doing I was like, geez, right? Then I went and I got my tail match, got my black win card, got the heck out of there, and left. You know, did not gamble, guys, right? I, I think with enough time of me doing this, you know, I would get used to being in the casino and not gambling, right? Now you're saying, damn, the medic, if you're not going to gamble, why go to the casino at all, you know? Because a lot of the restaurants are in casino hotels and the entrances are like around the casino. So you gotta walk through the casino, you know? And uh, I'm telling you, right? The only time I felt the urge to play was when I got close to the, uh, the high limit area of the Paris, Las Vegas, the Paris guys. That's right, while I was there, I took a bunch of the napkins. So the Paris Las Vegas, I, there were many occasions where I go there to their $5 machine and play like $25 a spin video poker or, or $50 a spin. And it would be very exciting. You know, I, I think that like the mental processes I have, right, that my brain is remembering like when I was sitting there and it was doing great and then the, the volume of the money was going up, you know, and it was great. I would be there for like three, four hours just pressing the button. Time goes by quick, you know, I made a, a lot of tear credits and everything, right? Those are some really good, 
good, good, exciting feelings, you know. And then uh, I guess there were some comments below saying about the chemistry of the brain and everything. I, I believe it is true, you know. So I, I start, I wired myself to that situation. So when I was passing by that high limit in the Paris, I felt it, guys. I felt like, you know, that gambling feeling. You know, but I said, nope, I turned around, you know, and I walked out, caught the bus and came home. So, yeah, that's how things have been going lately. The journey continues, all right? So, now, the rings. I ended up ordering more of these rings because of the uh, typo that was on it. The guy agreed to remake a couple for me and give me one extra. And then I was thinking now, do I make the date 325 or leave it at 305? You know, I'm thinking that I'll just leave it at 305, even though the new rings are coming, because I'll tell you the truth. I may very well fall off the wagon again. And if I do, I don't want to keep invalidating, you know, all my old rings because it's like, oh, it costs money. So I'm just going to stick to 305. And, uh, you know, the, the idea behind that is that, you know, I made the original video for 305. You know, the one that says that I'm going to try the one year thing. And then it'll be a one year journey, whether I fall off the wagon or I don't, it's still a one year journey just to see what happens. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, God forbid if I win a billion dollars tomorrow. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be here. I'll be like, guys, I won a billion dollars. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to go gambling. I set up my trust fund. And, I, there's, you know, for the rest of my life, I'll be taken care of. I'm going to go have some fun. You know, then, you know, that, that's probably what I would do. But, you know, I don't have no billion dollar trust fund, which is why I'm trying to, like, not lose all my money and end up homeless. You know, which can possibly happen because, oh my goodness, guys, it's very easy to just bet bigger and bigger, you know, and until it's all gone. So I just, I know I must not do that, guys. I must not. Okay. All right. So the last thing I'm going to say in today's video is that a, a viewer, a very nice viewer, had left a comment below saying that there is a great movie to watch called Owning Mahoney. It's about this guy and his gambling addiction. So I watched it. It was like maybe a movie from the 80s from Canada, guys. And it, you know, someone had uploaded it to YouTube, so it was free to watch. I'll put the link in the description below. All right. Thank you for watching. Yeah.